Well, how y'all doing today? Hope y'all having a blessed day. And it is a sad day in the neighborhood today, people. Now, I was getting everything ready. to. I had a ride up to Kroger's to get my rent money order and everything. And I always call the bank to see what my, you know, my bounce is before I go anyplace. And I called this morning and... <laughs> Uh, over three hundred dollars had been taken out of my account yesterday, and I called uh, the bank immediately. Uh, this has been going on. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, this has been going on for since December, All right? And I have got to switch banks. I cannot keep doing this. Uh, I'm on a very fixed income. Last time I was late with my rent, they charged me twenty five dollars, which I paid. Uh, and again, it was through no fault of my own. It's my bank. Somebody is hacking into that bank, all right? They just don't want anybody to know. And what happens is, well, you know, they dispute the payment. And at first they said, well, it's pending. And I found that on the pending. And I said, well, and they told me, it's pending. We can stop it, all right, and put it back on your account. And then they came back and told me because somebody had hacked into my account, uh, they can't do it. And uh, they want to charge me $25 to get me a card uh, within one and three business days. And and I, I never been able to do that. Uh, thus far, I've been on time with my rent except for that one time. And uh, But they're telling me if I, if I can get to a, a bank here local in town, which luckily I have one, they can issue me a temporary card and put the balance on that. In, but it still ain't going to pay my rent. So I I have got to uh, call the office and let them know what's going on. And I hate to do that. I, I have always been responsible with my bills. And this is happening through no fault of my own. And I, it, I, I'm dreading calling the office and telling them what's going on. And I'm definitely going to be changing my account. I mean, I gave them the benefit of a doubt. I've gotten three or four new cards since December, okay, uh, from them. And this just keeps happening over and over and over and over and over again. And I know I can't be the only one. So I'm going to have to get me another bank account. I can't, I cannot keep doing this, all right? And I'm, I am totally dreading having to call the office and, and, and talk to Karen. And, yeah, her name is Karen. And uh, uh, I know she's going to bring up the, the $25 late fee. I'm hoping that she has some grace with me. And uh, I'm, I'm, I can almost cry over this, people. I'm dreading it. I really am. I like paying my bills. I don't like this kind of drama in my life. And I'm definitely switching banks because I ain't going through this no more. And so I'm about to call management, let them know, uh, you know, once I suck it up, let them know what's going on and see what the story is there. And uh, somebody was supposed to be here at 10 to take me up to Kroger's. Like I said, I'm going to have to tell them I, I can't make it. And hopefully try to find a ride to get up to the bank and get a new card issued, temporary card issued, uh, so I can have access to pay at least some of my rent. And uh, I never keep money in the house, so I don't have money for nothing in here. I mean, it leaves me high and dry. And, and rather than, than go after the people who are hacking them, and this is, I cannot be the only one. This has been going on for seven months now. All right, I give them the benefit of a doubt. But rather than deal with the people who are hacking into their system and hurting their customers, and I told them that, I said, you penalize us, your patrons, all right? You put us in a bad situation because, you know, you, you, you can't do anything. I said, can't you do anything about this? No, no, we can't. They can't find out who's hacking into their system. Uh, they told me that the money went to uh, order and close online. It sure wasn't me. They know that much, but they're not willing to pursue that. And instead, they hurt their patrons. And like I said, I can't be the only one. 
So I'm about to call the office. And, and, you know, I hate being put in a position where I can be evicted over this. Yeah, and I don't even know if I should get a hold of a lawyer or not. Uh, the mental anguish that comes with this stuff and, and the way these people do business. Of course, they can say, well, you could always go somewhere else and, and do business. Well, that that's easier said than done for me. But I'm going to be looking into one. Uh, somebody suggested a uh, chime. Uh, and a lot of these uh, banks are online now. But if the grid goes down, you're screwed. If you don't have a bank local, all right? So I'm going to be looking at some physical banks uh, here, local, uh, and seeing what the story is with them. And so, because I can't keep going through this. I, I don't like... Uh, the instability that these people are causing in my life when I'm, I'm responsible and they're not. And so I'm about to do that. Uh, uh, yeah, no. Uh, well, they say shit rolls downhill and it happens, but, you know, I hate to be the one standing at the bottom of the hill. Uh, when it happens, I hate for it to happen to anybody. So my ass is in a sling. Uh, again, through no fault of my own. And I'm handling up on that this morning. So uh, I hope you all having a better morning. Uh, uh, a lot of my friends online have mentioned that they're having trouble with their banks too. I mean, I think it's something that's happening now for a lot of people. And I'm just going to try and deal with it the best I can. All right. So uh hope you all ain't going through this and, and uh, keep eye on your banks. I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.